Hey guys, I'm Mike Cafro with Black Hills UTV. We're down here in San Diego at Tavo Vidoso's shop and we're gonna be installing a Rugged Routes belt temp sensor on Tavo's Can-Am here. So if you haven't noticed, most UTVs use a clutch and belt setup as opposed to a transmission, mainly to keep the cost down. A lot of the times, there are belt failures on these cars, but it's mainly due to heat. Adding extra weight to the car or not tuning the car to a specific tire size that it comes with can contribute to that. Or driving the car erratically, not as smooth. Um, these are all factors, but mainly heat is a driving factor of belt failures. So in our racing applications, we utilize belt temp sensors and it's critical to knowing when to back off, you know, if your belt's getting too hot. When you're racing, you're not really thinking about taking it easy on the car per se. When you're out playing, it's a little different, but sometimes you can get caught up in the moment too, racing with your buddies and stuff. So it's nice nowadays you can have a belt temp sensor that you could put in your play car. So Rugged Route's belt temp sensor comes with everything you need to plug and play into your Lowrance GPS. Makes everything nice and simple. Rugged Route's infrared temp sensor is super easy to use. It comes with basically a little pad on the back that you peel and stick, hold it in place for 30 seconds, it's waterproof, and it'll stick on there forever. If you're a little weary of the self-sticking, you could also incorporate two self-tapping screws to hold it on for a little extra help. We recommend that you use an N2K starter kit. It has everything you need from the wiring harness to the T-connectors. For every job, having the right tools makes life so much easier. So for this particular job, we're gonna be using a right angle drill with a 3 8 drill bit. We have a ratchet with a nine millimeter for the side cover. We're also gonna be utilizing a impact with a eight millimeter on it and this T30 Torx bit. So the first thing we're gonna start with is pulling off the side cover to this Can-Am. It's always nice to have a, an extension if there's a couple of areas that are tight to get to. Now we're gonna take the boot off to the cover here. When you're drilling the hole for your belt temp sensor, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the hole is directly over the center of the belt before you drill it out. Before placing the sensor, it's a good idea to clean any of the surface area where the sticky pad is gonna to go to ensure proper adhesion, so. We're gonna use some brake parts cleaner and get it nice and clean. So the nice thing about most UTVs is they have a tunnel that runs down the center of the car, which most of the electrical is fed through. So pulling this tunnel off, and feeding the cable through makes life a lot easier. So we're gonna be taking the harness and we're gonna be feeding it through the tunnel and back out the back of the car to the sensor and then we're gonna take the remainder and feed it forward to the front of the car. All right guys, so on this particular unit on the Can-Am, the power block is right here on the, uh, on the passenger side. So the top one's a ground, the center one is power to the battery, and then we have the accessory power. So we're gonna be hooking up to the accessory power and then to your ground. So what we're gonna be doing is drilling a hole right here for the power to the antenna and to the 
Lorette's unit itself and also for the, the sensor in the back. All right guys, so we've drilled our hole right here. We're gonna feed through our connection to the GPS. And feed our power for the actual unit. So we're utilizing the T connectors they gave us with the kit and we're hooking up the GPS power and then the cable that runs that'll sync the GPS to the sensor. Then we're gonna hook up the power to the sensor, right here. So we have everything hooked up. We're gonna tuck this under, zip tie everything up, and then make sure everything works properly. So once you have your connections all hooked up and power to your unit, the belt temp sensor is gonna read as the transmission oil temperature on your Lowrance GPS. Once that's configured, you could have it right on your screen and it'll read your belt temp right there. So that's a wrap for our Rugged Routes belt temp sensor install. Now you can monitor your belt temperatures when you're out playing, spend less time fixing your car and more time playing with your buddies.